This is all we're gonna get stuck on my brace. Oh well. Hi guys, I hope that you're all well. So today's video is gonna be a very casual one and it's a little chatty update on what has been going on in my life because a few things have happened over the summer and over the last few weeks that I just wanted to update you on. I really like watching videos like this. I like getting that sort of insight into someone's life and knowing any big changes that are happening. And sometimes I just think it's good because I do quite a lot of these sort of life updates on Instagram, but I know not all of you follow me on Instagram, so I guess I'm trying to make sure that I am putting everything the same on there that I am on here, if that makes any sense at all. So the first big thing that's happened in the last few weeks is that I have hit 10,000 subscribers over here on YouTube, which feels absolutely incredible. I know that it's not a humongous number, but 10,000 people is a lot of people. And it's just been a goal of mine for ages and I don't like to set myself really number goals but I just feel like 10,000 is a little bit of a magic number and I just know from other people that they've hit 10,000 subscribers and big things seem to happen after that so I'm hoping the same happens with me. Funny though I was having a look at my analytics yesterday so if you're a YouTuber you know what I mean but if you're not you can go and look at analytics so you can analyse how your channel's doing and statistics and all things like that and one of my statistics was the fact that 70 something percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed, which is so crazy. So if you are watching this video and you aren't subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe. It is free. If you like my videos, it will notify you when I upload a new one so you don't miss anything. And obviously it helps me out as well. And it's not all about subscriber numbers at all, especially these days. Brands aren't just looking at that. They're looking at the views as well, so I'm obviously really grateful that you watch my videos, but I would really love it if you subscribed as well, so make sure you click the subscribe button wherever it is. It's free and it's really, really easy. So it's come at a really good time for me to hit 10,000 subscribers because I've actually just reduced my hours at work, so if you didn't know already, I do have a normal job as well as this job. I work in an office as a buyer three days a week, and I've just reduced my hours so that I can fit it in with Harry going to school, so it means I have a Wednesday and Thursday off as well, just to make videos and blog content and do all my photos and things and I just feel like I've got so much time to basically make content that I really really be proud of and really enjoy. I feel like before that I've just sort of been churning out videos trying to squeeze them in and now I'm actually looking forward to making some really good content that I hope that you guys will enjoy. Something absolutely huge happened in the last couple of months as well and that's the fact that I got married. So I got married to Scott in August, 17th of August. We got married at a barn in Ufton Court in Reading and it was so beautiful and I'm just so sad still that it's over. It's been like six weeks, has it? five or six weeks and I'm just so sad that it's over. If you haven't watched our wedding video I'll pop a little link to it down below but yeah lots of you have watched it and left us some really really lovely comments. It was such a beautiful day, it was exactly what I wanted to it to be like really relaxed, really informal and just really like rustic and English and just, I don't know, it was just everything I wanted it to be. It just went so fast. I just wish that a wedding was spread over a few days and yeah, and it didn't cost much money. But um, yeah, I'm sad it's over and I'm still in the process of changing my name. I feel like with my blog and YouTube and stuff, I'll probably just keep Lucy Herridge but I'm not really sure because I feel like I need to commit to my new name. So my new name is Lucy Houchin and I'm just really like, I don't know, it just sounds really alien to me and when I see it written on Facebook, I'm like, who is that? I just, I just don't recognize my name at all, but I feel like I need to commit to it because it is my name now. I'm still waiting for all of my wedding photos to come back. I obviously got married at a very popular time, so my lovely photographer is still editing my photos, but as soon as I get all my photos back, like the professional ones, I'm gonna do lots of blog posts, because I think blog posts are the best thing for like wedding related things. So now we're married, I am constantly being asked, when's our next baby? Which is a really weird question to ask. I would never ask anybody that, and I kind of understand why people ask, because they are just really happy for you and they're just interested to see if you're gonna have more kids but if you don't know my history I have had an ectopic pregnancy and 
I am terrified of being pregnant. I've also had a deaf child, so obviously that is a factor to consider as well. So yeah, I find it a bit strange when people ask, but I can understand why. And yes, we do want to have another baby. I would love to say we are trying, but we're sort of doing that thing where you don't try, but try? I don't know. I don't really know what to say about having more babies but I would like one and if it happens then it would be amazing. Something else that's happened in the last few weeks is my little boy Harry has started school and oh my god it's been such a massive transition, such a massive change in our lives but he's absolutely loving it, like I'm so shocked because on his taster days he really didn't like it and he kept saying I don't want to go to school but as soon as school started he really really loved it, he is the first one in that classroom and the last one out, he just really really loves it. We did have a bit of an issue where apparently he's been crying at lunch times over the last few days and I'm still trying to figure out what it is. He tells me that he likes the food and the teacher said that he's eating his lunch and everything. So I've asked him if it's the noise. Obviously Harry is deaf if you didn't know already. He wears cochlear implants um, which allow him to hear but we don't know exactly what he hears all of the time and he's never been in school a school environment before but he doesn't normally complain about noise we've been to festivals and all sorts and he's never moaned about the noise but I have a feeling that maybe maybe the lunch hall is really overwhelming and noisy and he can't hear what people are saying to him but I've asked him and he said um he was like yeah no he he like didn't really give me an answer so I spoke to his teacher this morning and said like I don't know if it's the noise but it might be so I think she's going to teach talk to his teacher of the deaf and see if they can maybe like get something sorted for him but I don't really know what they can do because I don't really want him to eat his lunch away from everyone because that wouldn't really be very nice but obviously I don't want it to be like really noisy and overwhelming so I guess we're just gonna have to take his lead and see how it goes. It did make me really sad though when the teacher said that he'd been crying because obviously I don't want him to cry and he hasn't been telling me that he's been upset. Um, he said he like really loves his lunch time and stuff so yeah I don't really know what to do about that one but it's been a really big big transition he's also been like horrendously naughty like so like not behaved at all so I think it's where he's just been so good at school all day and they just you know they stand in line they sit cross-legged and I know he's really good for other people that when he comes home he's just like has this release and I think he's just had enough of being told what to do if you do have any tips for after school behavior I would love to know because Everybody says is it because he's really tired, but he's actually coming out with way too much energy. This kid is not tired. I feel like he was more tired going to his childminder all day. Um, school day is pretty short for him compared to his old days at his childminder. We used to like pick him up at six, so a school day is actually kind of short for him. And yeah, he just doesn't really seem that tired. He's just miserable. <laughs> he also tells me like absolutely nothing. So I'm really trying hard, even though it's like against every natural instinct. I'm really trying hard not to say to him, how was your day or did you have a good day? Because that is normally the first thing that you say to anybody, whether they're an adult or a child, did you have a nice day? Um, but I'm really trying not to because as soon as I was saying, did you have a nice day? He was like shutting down and was like, don't talk to me. I'm not telling you. I don't know if it's a boy thing. I don't know if it's just an age thing or what, but he just doesn't want to talk about it. Doesn't want to tell me anything. So we don't, normally ask. I tell him what I've done in my day and sometimes he offers something that he did in his day. Sometimes it comes out later in the evening or he tells me something at bedtime or sometimes he just tells me nothing and I'm just gonna have to deal with that. So that's everything that's been going on in my life. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not really into these updates let me know but if you do kind of like these chatty videos then let me know as well because I quite enjoyed filming this. I feel like I've got a few things off my chest. I feel like I've answered some questions about the wedding and babies and all sorts and Harry starting school. And yeah, I think that's it for me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe.